What's up, my dudes, my dudettes, and wrestling colleagues of all kinds, Dan the Beast 94, coming back at you with Q&As with Dan the Beast 94. That's me. A lot of questions from you guys this week. Um, I, you know, I did mention it yesterday, and I mentioned it uh, this past week. You know, just write me questions, um, anything in particular, whether it's wrestling um, non-wrestling related, and, uh, phew, guys did a pretty damn good job, um, so this is gonna be a mouthful, so bear with me, alright, and, uh, happy Friday, so hopefully you guys are enjoying your weekend, enjoy your weekend, and, uh, don't have to deal with this crazy sickness bullshit, so, I got my list here, I got a lot of questions for you guys, uh, I think this is going to be my first of two videos tonight because I um, got another big unboxing. <laughs> Oops, not sorry. So uh, here we go here. First question we have is from my buddy Porter's Unboxing. Uh, do I have any Hardy Boys merch? I do. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen some of my last videos, but um, I got all these uh, Hardy Boy DVDs, so like the best of the Hardy Boys, the Ultimate Hardys from uh, High Spots, the Big Vision, uh, Jeff Hardy, My Life, My Rules, I still want to get the Twist and Fate, Matt and Jeff Hardy story, and um, I have an autographed uh, Jeff Hardy 8x10 from when I met him uh, a couple years back, if you guys don't know about that, um, check out my autograph 8x10 video, um, I also have an autograph. Uh, Matt Hardy, two autograph, um, Matt Hardy 8x10s, so, uh, yeah, next question here is from my buddy G. Kramer, Greg Kramer, who were the rudest and nicest wrestlers I've met, oh boy, um, well, Del Rio was a dick, I, let's be honest, everybody can be, anybody can agree with that, um, Joey Janela was kind of eh, with me. He was just off. He just didn't seem like he wanted to be there. Um, when I met Bret Hart, don't get me wrong, I love Bret, but uh, when I met him that day, he wasn't really engaging. He was too quiet. Had his head down a little bit. Just you know, didn't really. St he didn't stand up for the picture with me. But uh, I mean, that's him. But. Nothing against him. I still love the guy. Um, nicest guy? Oh, my gosh. I've told the DVD freak this, but Rowdy Roddy Piper, by far the nicest guy I've ever met. He just welcomed me with open arms like he was like a long-lost uncle I haven't seen in a long fucking time. He he was really that nice. Uh, even just taking the picture with him, he's like, come on, kid, put your dukes up. And I'm just like, dude, no wonder why they call you Rowdy. You're, you know... Full of energy. Um, rest in peace to that guy. Uh, Scott Hall was cool. Uh, he told me about the Owen Hart story where um, Owen was doing these spots with Lex Luger hitting his head on the turnbuckle. But Owen kept going even after Lex Luger wasn't selling it. So I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, Rey Mysterio, down to earth, cool guy. Very nice. Um... Matt Taven's always nice when I meet him. Uh, Jared King Waller. Um, a lot of others. But those are the few that stand out. Uh, next question with... Uh, next two questions are from my buddy TN Couponer. Uh, first question he has for me is... What are your thoughts on Becky Lynch being pregnant? Well, caught me off guard. And... Uh, Becky is no longer the man. She is now the ma. <laughs> so, um, congrats to her. Um, boy, she held that Raw Women's Championship for over a year. So, um, I kind of see where it's going now. I mean, obviously, I think Shayna might take it off Asuka at Backlash. <sighs> yeah, but um, kudos to Becky. Um, next question he asked me, uh, Fantasy Warfare, who would win? Chris Benoit versus Tommaso Ciampa and Eddie Guerrero versus Johnny Gargano. Let me tell you, that'd be a pretty dope tag team match. 
DIY versus Guerrero and Benoit. No doubt. Especially in their prime. I would take like ECW Benoit and Guerrero with NXT Gargano and Champa, Like early Gargano and Champa when they were like DIY before they split. Um, but between Benoit and uh, Tommaso, definitely Benoit. And uh, Eddie Guerrero versus Johnny. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Guerrero, you know. And uh, here we go with the final five questions. These questions come from my buddy, my boy, no pun intended, Mark Boy 316 coming in with the first question. What got me into doing YouTube? Um, when it came to YouTube, you got to give all the credit to my boy, Nick Kurtz. Um, you know, he really inspired me. And just watching all you guys... You know, watching all your videos, uh, especially Nick Kurtz and DVD Freak, and Wrestling Rampage. As soon as I got this shelf set up, that was it. As soon as I got it, I was like, you know what? It's time to get the ball rolling with this. And um, that's how it all came to be. So uh, shout outs to Nick Kurtz. Um, even after I made my YouTube um, channel, you know, he basically made a channel about the story on how we first... Uh, Matt at Northeast Wrestling, and he just told people, like, follow this guy. And um, I got to give him a lot of credit for that. So, Second question. In your opinion, do you believe Benoit, for his wrestling ability, should be in the Hall of Fame? Do you think he'll ever get in? Honestly, I really don't think Benoit will ever be in the Hall of Fame because his murder, um, homicide, suicide, is such a big distraction. And, like, even if there's a lot of people who ain't aware who Chris Benoit is, they're going to end up looking up, looking him up on Google anyway. And especially after the recent Dark Side of the Ring episodes, as much as I'd like to say it, I mean, no. I never see Benoit going in the Hall of Fame. I think, you know, Owen Hart has a better chance, uh, better than Benoit. Uh, next question he asked me, what's the most... You have paid for a DVD, and which is the most expensive in your collection. I will show you that right now. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. This is the most I've ever paid for a DVD. Um, it probably won't be the last one because I still got to pick up Judgment Day, which is like another thirty or forty dollars. Uh, I paid over sixty dollars for this, so. And this is in flawless condition, even though this is the Canadian edition. But um, this DVD is definitely worth it. Uh, let's see. Um, next question. Do you have any wrestling magazines or action figures or any other wrestling related merchandise other than DVDs and Blu-rays? Uh, I do. Uh, I do have magazines, which I will show you right here. I, I showed you, I think I showed you a couple of my signed ones, but these are all my magazines right here. Oh, don't mind my Cokes. But um, I got a couple. I'm, I'm going to have to show you those in a separate video, but I have a couple signed and a couple um, uh, just basically just a couple signed. Um, what else do I have? Uh, it's WCW NASCAR. I have the WrestleMania Legacy, uh, collection box set VHS, uh, 1 through 14. That was supposed to come with 15, but never did. Um, the Ric Flair Funko Pop. The Bob Backlund book. The Ric Flair, uh, robe piece that came with, uh, 2K19 when you bought the Legends Edition. My SmackDown Tag Team Championship, my Blue Blazer mask, um, oh, and then this nice little Chavo Guerrero figure that, uh, Nick Kurtz gave to me, so, uh, yeah, Holmes, the fuck you looking at, alright, <laughs> uh, oh, in this Bullet Club book bag. Which is what I usually bring to wrestling shows. Uh, whenever I get stuff signed. It's just a traditional thing. And the final question from my boy. 
Mark Boy 3 is, um, oh boy, I think this video is going to lag. If Owen would have jumped to WCW with Brett, what matches would have you liked to see him have? Uh, you think he would have fit as WCW champion? WCW champion? Hell no. You know, Eric wouldn't even match Owen's contract to what he was making in the WWF, so, um, I really don't think so. I mean, I think he had a better chance being WWE champion, but WCW, no. But as of, uh, matches, Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, Chavo Guerrero, um, Rey Mysterio, Alex Wright, um, Chris Jericho, just, you know, just to name a few. Um, but Owen as champion, no, his, his opportunity should have been world champion after Brett left in 97. Uh, that last Raw episode in 97, you know, that should have been Owen's moment right there. And, uh, that about does it for, uh, the first video of today, guys. I will be getting to the second video momentarily, so bear with me. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, make sure you hit that like button, leave your comments in the comment section down below, especially if you have questions for me that you would like to, like for me to answer in next week's Q&A, and hit that subscribe button, especially if you're watching my channel and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Somebody make that a t-shirt for me, please, I'm begging you, that's my slogan now, but that about does it guys, Dan the Beast 94 until next time, signing off.